Uh, this is the robot. Uh, having to be powered by solar energy, it uh, the Lego Technic set has a solar panel that directly converts the solar energy into electricity into the motor. The motor then runs the. Uh, but I put a shadow on it, and it's still going. Well, you got to put more of a shadow on it. It's got to cover the whole thing. When kids build this in our in our one day workshops, they learn about levers, they learn about motors, they learn about electricity, they learn about wheels, they learn about uh, gears and cams, they learn about pistons, and they learn about uh, how all of these things can be put together to make one thing that actually accomplishes something, as opposed to just sits there. Um, we're doing a banana DNA extraction, and um, we're adding a lysis buffer to a banana mixture and removing, um, we're breaking the cells open and inside cells, right? So DNA makes up all of who you are. And um, what she's doing here is she's squishing the banana in this bag. This has the lysis buffer, and the lysis buffer and banana gets added and filtered through the coffee filter here. Hopefully all the cells and you end up with this slurry on the bottom, which is what is within the cells. And you pour cold ethanol into the slurry, and you end up getting um, the banana DNA. So you want to follow this diagram, right? So from the positive, you connect it to the bulb, and then the other side of the bulb to the negative. So today we're making uh, slime with the, uh, with the children. Uh, they love to... Get in, get in things and uh, see how things work. So we're going to take a couple of monomers, link them together, and we're going to make polymer chemistry or slime. And it's really cool to do something that kids really love to do and then show them the science behind it. Well, we'll pitch them on our way out. Well, actually, I think if you look at that, doesn't this kind of look like when it rains outside and then all those little droplets in the mud? This is actually a 200 million year old rainstorm right on this rock. Usually, you, it, the freezing process takes like a long time, but you pour liquid nitrogen and it freezes it automatically because liquid nitrogen's boiling point is negative 390 degrees Fahrenheit. So the second it hits it, it boils and it freezes. Ice cream! <laughs> So uh, this is my personal project, it's called the Lario Carp, like Mario Carp, but full of lols. Um, I built this at uh, the club at MIT called the MIT Electronic Research Society. We are just a club that exists so, solely for the purpose of students building cool stuff. Um, this is my pet project that I did in my spare time last year, um, when I was just after, after class with nothing to do, I you know, didn't want to do homework, just build stuff. And um, it's an electric, electric uh, go-kart based off a shopping cart, um, has an 8 horsepower electric motor, and it'll hit speeds of about 35 miles per hour as designed. And I have a nice little surround sound system built into it.